Welcome to Yarwool. In this episode, we drive deep into the bush on the New South Wales south coast of Australia, home to many tough tracks, including the infamous six stage and monkey jump. Dad is back in the MUX whilst I'm driving the big rig, the TB48 Nissan GU Patrol. We go in search for some epic campsites and explore some of the amazing tracks the area has to offer. The MUX struggles to keep up, having to pull the winch out on several occasions before being faced with something a little more serious. Look at this wheel, it's like normal and that one's like bent right in. Proudly supported by our back equipment. Tread, Superior Engineering, and in part by. The MUX looks fairly small next to the patrol. What'd you go down to? 22 and a half on the front, 20 on the rear. This will be my first drive out the bush with these new tires, the Maxxis Razors, the 35s. So I'm gonna go down to maybe 10 on these. We are at the beginning of about 10 days on the road. So we've got Kai and myself in the patrol, 35s, twin locked, all the superior suspension on it. And then dad's joining us for the first week or so and he's in the MUX. 32s and the rear locker. Patrol petrol and the Isuzu is diesel. We did get here a little bit later than I hoped. That sun's just disappeared, but it's cooling down fast. So first thing we're gonna do is go and find a camp somewhere for the night. I'm not too sure where we're camping yet, but we'll head out here and hopefully find a nice spot. Before we head off, I'll just quickly go around and check my tires because there's two things I'm good at. One is forgetting to lock the hubs in and the second is losing valve caps. So I'll check all them and then we'll Head off. We didn't have to drive very far and we found ourselves a bloody awesome lookout spot. How's this? We just missed that sunset. I wish we were here for that, but looking at the valley all down there below us and got the cars parked just here. Bloody good to be out here. Not a bad spot to pull up to, 10 minutes on the end of the trip. Yeah, well, the first thing we've seen is this. And that's a real turnaround from the highway, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> How's that? And there's a live bird down in the gully. We soaked in the last of the sunset before setting off in search of a camp spot for the night. How's that sunset out there behind me? So cool. All right, we think we have found ourselves a little camp spot down a side track. How's that? Doesn't look as good on the camera, but that sunset out behind me there is bloody amazing. We're losing light. We're gonna set the vehicles up here and get a nice fire going and set up for the night. How's all the lights on this thing now? I've turned it into a party bus and this will be the first trip away testing the new light bar going on the roof as well. It's a 40 inch light bar and it's one of the Ultima 9 ones. But yeah, it's been awesome so far on these tracks coming in. It definitely gives that nice bit of extra light up there. fire's going keeping us nice and warm it's pretty much pitch black now out here got my little light and table set up here though I'm gonna cook some dinner cooking up a little bit of a bean mix chili con carne type thing tonight 
got the veggies to start with there, spring onion, celery, red and green capsicum. We're going to stir them and soften them up. Got a tin of corn to add in. Add in a few herbs and spices, some paprika, some cumin, some oregano, black beans and kidney beans, diced tomatoes, vegetable stock cube, break it up a bit, add in some water. Since I've still got more room, I've decided I'm going to add a can of chickpeas as well to get all the beans in there. Gonna pop the lid on and let that simmer through for 10 minutes or so, then it'll be ready. Probably needs a little bit longer to simmer, but we're both bloody starving, so we're just gonna eat it now. Avocado on top and some sour cream. Some jalapenos, a little bit of cheese, and I reckon it's good to go. Bit of a mess, but looks delicious. Go sit by the fire and eat it, and we'll check back in in the morning. Beautiful camp spot we had there last night, and beautiful day today as well super sunny and nice out here it was absolutely freezing last night but has already warmed up a bit again which is nice packed up camp and we're off to hit the tracks so i don't know if we've said yet but we are out yarwool on the south coast of australia out the back of Nowra, and we're coming in dean's gap road now and then we're going to head down mint bush fire trail down into like the main area where we'll probably do flex track today might have a look at say dusty's tree root i don't I haven't driven some of them so I don't know what they're going to be like but it's quite a bit to check out down there then depending on how that goes we'll uh, tackle monkey gum the Savo or tomorrow um, and yeah so we're just out here next couple of nights exploring and full driving Mint Bush Fire Trail is the main access trail down into the valley there. It's nothing too extreme, but it definitely does have a few little challenges along the way. Nice and steady, pick your lines and you shouldn't have too many issues. Nice little flexi bit there to warm up the suspension. So I've got new coils in the front and they're clanging a lot less. And I've also got a front sway bar in now as well. So now I've got both sway bars in. But now, now the rear coils are clanging a lot more because they must be working a bit harder, I don't know. But that's what that noise is, those rear springs. So prepare to hear them for the next 10 days on this trip clanging around as they flex. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just need to get some big long flexi coils in it or something. So peaceful down in here, it's beautiful. The track seems to have started to get very muddy all of a sudden, a lot of, a lot of slippery ruts up through it all that we're trying to negotiate our way down. And that's why it's so wet, even though we haven't had any rain really recently, the last few weeks, just a stream running through all this section of track.
All right, we have arrived down the bottom of the valley here where there's quite a few tracks. No one out here as well, which is good because we came during the week. First track though is flex track, which is what the name suggests. Some very flexy wombat holes runs for, it's only a very short one, runs for about two, 300 meters and test out the suspension on your car. Fairly rugged angle in here. Yeah. Dad was struggling on the line he was on in the MUX. He was bellying out and about that front locker to get those front wheels moving. He was unable to get that traction to pull him up out of it. So we decided to reverse him back, yeah, pick a different like line and see how that went. That way a bit, yeah. That way a fraction more, yeah. That way a bit more. So it would have been easier with a front locker yeah. if you would have just drove your original line, but you can still always work it without it, you just got to do a bit of negotiating. It's good feeling the chilled on it. <laughs> First section done there, we'll move on to the next bit. <laughs> I'm doing this sort of stuff. You can just really pick your lines and work it nice and slow. Leaves me away where they'll creep. Yeah. They'll just creep and creep <laughs> and creep. Yeah. So that's uh, flex track done. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> Did yours like spin and sink it all in that? Yeah, it grovelled yeah, and okay. I whacked it into drive and it grabbed another one and just come up out of there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it was you can feel mine sink down, but mine's got obviously a lot more weight than yours. Yeah. They made it to the river.
park the cars up there. We seem to have come to the end of this track. I was planning on driving across the river and up the other side, which is what I've done in the past and up towards Dusty's there, but it seems to have been washed away in the floods potentially, because it looks like well, there's a track down here, but no one's been coming down it. And then it comes to here where someone's made a bridge and there's the exit over the other side, but no one seems to have been going across. How's the water? It is cold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit confused why someone went to so much effort to make this little bridge here. I reckon it's motorbikers. Oh, motorbikers, you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, okay. There's the exit out the other side. Definitely hasn't had any cars on it, only motorbikes. And the river feels quite different compared to when I drove across it last time. Like it seems a bit more muddy and silty, a bit more boggy in there. And especially over the other side, I reckon if you drop down over there, you just bury your car in like that quick sand, muddy creek stuff. Yeah. <laughs> over into the mud. Uh, you never told me that. <laughs> Not my job. It's so cold, eh? Well, it looks like we're not getting across the river here where you used to be able to. So we're going to have some lunch in the sun. It's so nice down here. And then we'll head back the other way and try and find somewhere else to cross just because we do want to explore a couple of those tracks on the other side. But see how we go. If not, we'll just take the, I can't remember the name, Middle Ridge Road or something down towards uh, Monkey Gum where you should be able to hopefully cross the river at Monkey Gum. After a quick stop for lunch, we headed back out to find another way across the river. Fairly savage rock. Bit of fine tune in there, bus. <laughs> yeah. We have found a spot further up to cross the river, but once again, like it hasn't been getting much four-wheel drive use down here, fair bit of motorbike use. But anyways, drop down, crossed up and see what happens. Dad's stuck up there. <laughs> or I didn't have that locker in maybe. There he goes. Yeah, I do. 
I think you're stuck again. You had it, you dropped back. You've got to try board, but I think you fall back off now. Yeah. Whew, getting hot out here. It was just lacking a bit of clearance on that step there. So I tried a few rocks, but still kicking them out. Some rocks, then the treads on top, and that gave them the traction and clearance and had to pop it up there. Nah, stop. You, you're sitting on a, you're high sanded on a rock. Yeah, just pop you up on that rock a bit. Not so drastic, turn back a bit. So you're sitting on the cross member right in the middle, mm. and that transfer is pretty close. Yeah. So I probably just have to winch you forward. A little bit of a tricky obstacle this one. I wasn't filming, but I had the same issue a bit where I came up and then I sat on the diffs and I had to realign a couple of times to clear them. But dad's come up behind me, done a similar thing because he was back a bit further and didn't see what happened with me. And I was walking back down and then he got caught in a similar spot and he's sitting pretty hard on that cross member in the middle. Can't go forwards, can't go backwards. So I winch him forwards and just pack some rocks under the wheels so as he comes forward he lifts up off that underbelly. Managed to winch that off that little rock there he was stuck on, wasn't too much about that sun's bright in my eyes. After all that, we're actually going to turn around <laughs> this bit anyway we've come on to because I realised this is Middle Earth track heading all the way to Monkey Gum. And I've heard it's a long, slow slog through there and there's a couple of dead logs up on the road in front, so they're already starting the clearing and that. So we're going to go back down to the river because I didn't mean to come here. I'm trying to get over the other side towards Dusty. So we're going to have one last attempt. Look up the other way. I remember my first time, time four-wheel driving. You remember it. Like you're looking at it all over again. <laughs> yeah. You came too far left. So you need to drop down that rock there. This big fella here. Yeah, a bit more over on that because you sat it in that off the edge of the whole thing now. So yeah. now it's yeah. sitting on your belly. Good out of belly cart. <laughs> oh well, just have to buy a patrol or something next. Then you just do what I do, just point it anywhere and it just goes. And that's dad off another <laughs> belly out. Tune in again in 60 seconds time when he's stuck on the next rock. I'm only playing around though. We all have those days where like, I've had heaps of them, where it just seems all these little things go wrong and you're just thinking, what the hell? I think the last one I had was at that Springs 4x4 park. <laughs> About five things in a row just go wrong for me.
our last attempt to get up over this side of the river. No one's been on it for ages and yeah, I'm not really close. We could winch both the vehicles up. And then once you get up there, look at the tracks, got logs across it and stuff. I don't know, no one's obviously been across here in a little while, so I think we'll just head back and head round the normal way to Monkey Gum and we'll find camp somewhere in the next hour or so along our travels. Bugged. Again. <laughs> that was the bank I tried to get up over there and Dad was sitting down behind me. I saw a reverse down in front of him and took off around the side and I'm out. Over here ready to head off. But as he reversed back, he sunk. What are you up to, recovery? <laughs> MUX recovery seven. <laughs> I'm going back to wine and back to the old days. <laughs> Dad's only got two treads on him, so we'll try the two first and see if that can pop him up out. If not, we'll get a couple off my car too. That worked. The treads are gone. Good thing you didn't go all the way down in this stuff. <sighs> Treads worked. That's that out too. And then we'll head up that bank and back up out of here. We've got some fairly interesting steps to navigate up this side here. There's quite a few options. I think maybe over there through the middle a bit and off to the side is the easiest one. But I don't know, none of them are that easy to be honest. They're all sort of very steppy. Good fun driving up all those steps there. So I'm nearly up the top. I think there's one more to go. Dad's not going to come this way. Those steps are fairly big even. With my 35s on them, they're still pretty big. So putting 32s on them is going to be a fair mission. So he's going to go around and he reckons he's found another track over there, which is a bit easier. Let's go. You reckon he'll make it? No. Perfect. Like you got the middle sitting on it, you got the rear wheel in there, the front wheel will kind of climb like the Yeah, the whole deal's not on. That one over there, I might be able to do it. Yeah, 
So it's hard to say under there. That's a good one. See that rock that's kicked up in the gap there? Oh yeah, that doesn't help. Which has probably possibly pressured it. Yeah. And just kinked it out. So you see it's the, like you had, they had those rock, we had those rocks there to fill that hole. And were they put there today or another day? No, nah, another day. But I saw them sitting there like, oh, that'll help yeah. keep you up off a bit and it yeah. just kicked one up in there. But is the problem the rock that's in this tire or is that another problem? Both, the wheel's bent. Where? Come around the front. Look at this wheel is like normal and that one's like bent right in trying to bring dad up that step there honestly there wasn't that much like he's taking it very easy but i think it's picked up a rock in that uh, front passenger wheel there so we'll be camping here tonight so yeah i don't know we'll try and winch you up but we're gonna try and air down the tire and see if they can then uh get the rock off it because it's fully jammed in there Tonight's camp spot, Kai. Perfect. Rugged day for you out on the tracks. I got in after that swim and after lunch and never felt happier in the bush. <laughs> and now I'm not saying the world's coming to an end. I'm moving my car to a bit of a flat spot here where you can put the swags and stuff. We're gonna get a fire going in the middle. Uh, I'm gonna get all my tools and gear out and then we're gonna just pull that tire off. So we can get that rock out, put the tire back on, and try and winch it up on here, and then figure out a plan because we don't have a uh, steering rack. It's like the first thing you've ever broke on this car in six years or something, isn't it? Yeah, I was going to try and build a front diff up. Might be a trip into Nara tomorrow, so I'm try and get a steering rack. So we, once we pull the wheel off, we can see, but I can't see anything in there with that rock in the way and jam there. Oh, there it is, all bent there. Yeah, what is it, bent? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bent massively. Yeah, it's bent boomerang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll throw it into Nara an then and see if a new one comes back, boomerang's back. <laughs> You'll get abused because you didn't have one. Absolute idiot. It's got a bit of movement now, but yeah, yeah maybe when, you enough to it, get when you kick it now, something might happen. Yeah, it's taken it's moved it a bit. There you are. Doesn't look as bad now. Yeah, it's still bad, but yeah, not as bad. Do you want to grab your winch gear out? Yeah. And winch up. Like your wheels don't even look that bad now. Turn that way. That way. Yeah, keep coming. Once I've actually pulled it up there, the front tire doesn't even look that bad. We've looked in under, that steering rack's a little bit bent, but yeah, it's not too much. Like, Nilly might be able to drive it out or try and bend it back a bit. But anyways, we're just going to camp here because we don't like we got a decent spot here to camp and repair stuff if need be. Whereas we start driving and then we actually snap the whole thing right there on a rock step or in a rut or something, and then you know then it gets all painful again. It's nearly dark. May as well just uh, relax, think about it overnight, and deal with it in the morning. You're speaking a language I don't understand I don't know that look in your eyes I need you to give me a sign I'm reaching my hand So cold out here during winter Pretty nice night though, had a heap of fog move in, it's just starting to clear up now, so waiting for this sun to come in soon, hopefully. We're not gonna hang around too long though. We lit that fire, we'll cook a bit of brekkie on it, then we'll pack up the camp and start heading up out of here. Try and get the MUX back into Nara, where we'll see if they have the parts for it and we get someone to help us 
put them in hopefully. It doesn't even actually look too bad once we've moved it up off that step. It seemed to straighten itself out a bit as we got that rock out and winched it up there. It's definitely still bent in under there, but yeah, I don't know. It might not drive too bad, but we'll have to see how we go. But we'll keep moving, have this brekkie pack up and get out of here because a fair bit to do today. Hopefully we can get those parts. I'm not gonna start my car up yet. Dad just jumped in his, started up, and we'll see how it goes first. Obviously picking the easier lines out of all these steps. Hopefully it drives up out of here all right, but if it just bends as soon as it hits these steps and stuff, well, then we come up with a new plan. First problem I can see is that, you can definitely see that passenger wheel has got steering, but it's not steering as well, especially when he's turning passenger, it's not going far as the other one. What'd you say? All seemingly good at this point. Yeah, like it's not steering as well as the other one, but right. it's, it's still steering. Yeah. But you're not getting as much movement out of it, and yeah. it's a bit crooked to the other one, but it's nothing drastic, but you can tell it's a bit broken. Yeah. But yeah, it's all good doing what you're doing. Yeah, I'm not going to go over a few k's until I get on an actual flat road, but it feels like it's, you know, a little bit fighty, but it's certainly not mad. Yeah, because yeah. you can definitely see that passengers always trying to turn, like, yeah. differently to your drivers. I need to check the map. We're not too far off that main dirt road, and once they're there... Yeah, well, I'll take yeah. along a bit and see how it feels and that type of thing. Yeah. Made it to the main road at least. Yeah, well that's a huge start and relief. Things could be worse for us, way worse. We could be down there and lost our food. <laughs> it's hardly a matter of seeing how it feels on the road now. Made it out of that mint bush fire trail. We're back up on the main Dean's Gap Road now. You can follow this dirt road through to Nara nearly, so we'll just start cruising along it, see how things go. All right, we're back out uh, again, back out here at Yahoo, just off Dean's Gap Road. We come back out to this lookout to have a bit of lunch. So we're just after lunch now and the car's all fixed up. So I didn't film too much, but yeah, went to town, got the parts from Repco. They had them waiting for us. So grabbed a couple of steering arms. So we got a spare one now as well. And then a guy in town there, Rob, offered to help. He has a bit of a panel beating and car restoration shop in town there, so. They helped us chuck that steering arm in, so we got the new one in and it's no longer bent, got rid of, got rid of the old one. And we've popped back out the bush and we're ready to go again. So not too bad and all part of the fun I guess, glad we got it fixed and on the road. Dad will have to get a wheel lineman at some point, you say it's not driving too bad at the moment but is it? Driving beautifully. So the car's driving pretty nice on the way back out here but yeah we'll still have to get a wheel lineman and 
Probably just check all over the front end. We couldn't get a tie rod, like the little end piece, and that one's pro that one's got a bit worn now. It's probably already wearing out, plus the stress of that event on it. So once he gets home, he'll probably get sorted all out a bit and check everything over. But back on the road and ready to go again. We just uh, had a bit of a 24-hour delay there. Gonna have some lunch and soak in, enjoy this lookout, and then back down Mint Bush Fire Trail, I think it is. Mint Bush, Mint Brush, very sure it's Mint Bush Fire Trail. Back to where we started this morning. This time we're gonna head along to Monkey Gum. We'll probably camp somewhere trackside again tonight, because um, we wanna get down in there, away from this wind. And then tomorrow morning, we'll take on Monkey Gum. So I'll probably finish up this video here now and all the events that have happened so far. So the next video will be us heading down there, grabbing a camp and taking on monkey gum tomorrow. Dad's very keen to drive it. Hopefully we don't break any more parts. Right, I'll see everyone in the next video. Make sure to tune in next week as we tackle the infamous Monkey Gum Fire Trail. How's all the lights on this thing now, buddy? Buddy, turn. How's all the lights in? Alrighty, we've all right, we've arrived down the bottom of the valley here, where there's quite a few tracks. All right, we've it gets quite popular out here, so the weekends can be busy. That's why we aim to come here. Out here on the weekend can get fairly busy, so it's good. And the river feels quite different to when I drove across. <coughs> that's that's dad up that. <laughs> 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 